All right, everybody, Corey Reed again from Ocean Blue Yacht Sales here in Stort, Florida. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we have a Pursuit 26-foot dual console. You'll see right there behind me. Pursuit builds a quality brand boat regardless of the model, but today I'll show you why this 26 behind me is uh, really a class leader. Really cool stuff inside. Can't wait to get you guys an opportunity to check it out. Jump aboard. All righty, so first and foremost, starting at the bow, one of the things that I always make sure to let people know that Pursuit engineers boats. And what I mean by that is one quick example will be, you'll see this anchor right here. This is actually on a hinging mechanism. You see how tight to the bow that is versus a competitor's brand. You kind of see it hinging forward there. This is tucked nice and tight against the hole. And the reason they can do that is there's a hinging mechanism that actually comes out and allows the anchor to go down safely away from the boat. Vice versa, when you come up, it catches it and gets it right flush to the bow there, which is just a nice look overall. That's just an engineering manufacturing expert that really knows what they're doing. And we're gonna walk around here to the side of the hole. This is just our standard white with a navy boot stripe. But this dual console, if you're like me, I grew up on center consoles, so I never really jumped on on this dual console aspect. But one of the things that I'm really loving is you can see just how big that hard top is with that dual console. and the Isinglass comes standard with this model. So tune in a little closer so you can see that Isinglass. It gives you complete coverage on the inside of the boat. So on a windy day like today, you're gonna have complete control of the climate while you're operating this boat, which is a very, very nice thing to have and still go out when it's windy. One of the cool things too with Pursuits, get you a nice side profile there, beautiful boat. Every one of that you'll see is going to have these swim platforms on the back, these sponsons. Very, very cool dual purpose. One, you can have the boarding ladder tucked right back in there. Two, you can kind of see this is kind of hovering around the motor. What that does is it gives you lift in the back. So the whole, the planing on this, the whole shot is going to be very, very well performed. And if you had to, you could stand on that swim platform, raise the motors up, and if you had to get to your props, you could actually change the prop or get to whatever is possibly in the prop while you're still on the boat while you're operating. So that platform back there, not all manufacturers do it, but a very, very clever design from Pursuit. This boat does come optioned with the twin 200 Yamahas painted white. Top end is going to be 51 on this model. You're going to be cruising right around 33 I believe the miles per gallon is around 2.2. So get you guys a nice American made. This is actually made locally. We're in Stort, Florida. Plant's gonna be in Fort Pierce, just about 30 minutes from us. Beautiful plant, well and manufactured. We're gonna jump inside here and see what else this has to offer. All right, everybody, as I jump aboard, I'd like to start in the cockpit area, and then I'll make my way towards the bow. Jump in here and flip around just so you can see the space that you have in here. And there's just so much versatility that you can have with this model. Right now, I have all the seats down so you can see how easily you can entertain folks. Aft facing seat, a rarity for this size boat. Usually, manufacturers have like some kind of swivel or something that you can face one way or the other. But you can see Pursuit did a great job of having two seats, one forward, one aft. We can probably fit two people right there, another two right there. And you see there's actually cup holders for both situated right there and then there's a receptacle on the floor there that you see for a table so one cool thing a scenario that i would do on this model is if you flip around here you can see there's a little prep station it comes with a cutting board a nice sink area so you can easily as you can see bring people aboard prep something for them serve them on a table just enjoy sunset whatever you guys like to do and then underneath here you're going to see there's actually another nice little design by pursuit a clip for a bucket trash or storage whatever you like to stick down there you can go ahead and shut this that twist down you can see two magnets to keep this latch down very nice touch by pursuit If you don't want to entertain you want to fish that's where the rods go right there you'll see another two rod holders right here two more on the outside 
And this particular model doesn't have it, but you can get a rocket launcher on the top of the hard top here for additional rod storage. So you can absolutely fish out of this model. You can cruise. One of the cool situations that I know a lot of customers love is this Isinglass. Like I said, it does come standard, but what you'll see from the inside is there's tracks that come around here on the back and it'll give you a complete 360 coverage for this boat. So you could even camp on this boat if you wanted to. As we kind of go forward here, I want to point out a couple of things right here. Speaking of fishing, right? Got the storage right there. Some more drawers that pull out, sunscreen, towels, whatever you have you. The highest quality speakers throughout there. So there's a JL audio system all throughout this boat. Pursuit uses the highest quality. You're going to have a very nice sound with the subwoofer and operation of everything. And we're going to sit down here in this nice captain's chair and talk about this dash. Okay, so as we sit at the captain's chair and we're looking at the helm here, you can see that JL Audio head unit there that I was talking about a little bit earlier. You got a Garmin unit and the Yamaha gauge. All your switching is going to be operated right there. A couple of cool features this model has. Power steering, right? Mid-level lighting. Cockpit lighting. It's actually a tri-color cockpit lighting. It's red, white, or blue. It's kind of cool when you're at night. Yamaha controls with their electronic key system down there. Power on, and all you have to do is press these buttons right here, and your engines will start. So VHF also right there on the side. Pretty cool for a 26. As we kind of turn port, show you guys how big this head is. That's not the head, that's just the compartment, but that's the head. Kind of see there's a mirror, there's a sink. Obviously there's storage underneath. Not enough to stand in, but for a 26 foot foot, you will be able to use that and it's all electronic. Just press of a button, has a macerator and pump out system if you like. As we kind of approach the bow, I'll poke my head in here real quick. When you want to completely close this off, all you have to do is just put that switch right there. Return. Now you have the storage space that you need here. As you look in here, that's going to be the table that can fit in the back or the front of the boat. That sun pad, filler cushions right there. Everything has its spot with Pursuit, even the table legs. So everything is in its own little position. Then you have nice, easy access to the screens electronic wise if you need it. As you enter the bow, you're going to see just how much space up here. People can be seated and you can face forward both sides. Speakers are pointed right at you. Receptacle right there for the table. We'll just check out this inside of this anchor latch here. You can kind of see the other side of that hinging mechanism I was talking about earlier. Nice heavy duty cleat inside to tie off. And then you have your pop-up cleats here on each side as well. These little receptacles right here and right here are actually where the poles are going to go in. I'm going to drop a link for you to see what that looks like. But essentially, you're going to have complete shade. As you guys are operating this boat on the bow, you're going to have complete coverage from the sun once you put that shade up and use those poles. And then the snaps that you see going along the side are actually for the canvases so you can take care of your upholstery when you're not using it. It's going to turn right around here. I want to check out two more spaces. I want to go in here for you guys so you guys can see just how quality and the time that Pursuit takes for the little details. So with Pursuit, everything has a space. Those are the poles that I was just talking about. It has its own racking system. You'll also notice just how deep this is. This is just the center console hatch here, but Pursuit thought of it. Those are your systems for your, uh, your head overcharge for the macerator pump and all the through hole fittings. But you'll notice that it's actually blocked off. So you can use this as storage without having any kind of clutter near the pumps and the seacocks that are very important. So everything is just thought out. They've done a really good job manufacturing this boat. And the same is true for the aft space, the mechanical space back here. I'll go ahead and shut the seat. Big heavy duty T-latches. Almost shut the whole thing there. 
And then the same is true for there. The batteries are raised. The water management system is very clever by pursuit. That's a liner that has those holes will go into the bilge. So the water that you're going to see traditionally in the bilge won't be in this, in this mechanical space. It'll be easy to clean. Uh, and it's just a well thought out design that pursuit did. So I have to switch around. I want to show you one more thing and then we'll finish up the video. So I just wanted to show you the receptacles for the aft shade. So the first one's right here on the part on the port side and then on the starboard side, you're going to see the other one there. Those uh, poles that I just showed you in that center hatch will go on each side and then it'll actually connect to the hard top. So you'll have complete coverage of this cockpit area. And I keep saying it, but it is I hope the video gives it justice. This is a very large cockpit for a 26 foot boat. So you can absolutely entertain with friends and family and go out and enjoy a nice time on the water. Um, Guys, I am so appreciative of all the love and support that I get on these videos. If you uh, want to see more content, just make sure you uh, like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see. I want to keep doing these. I enjoy it. So hope to see you again soon.